In this screencast, we're going to talk about how to use MATLAB and MATLAB's um, built-in function F0 in order to solve a single nonlinear algebraic equation. So to use F0 and also Fsolve, if you are going to use that function, you need to write both a script and a function, just like with the ODE solvers like ODE45. So first you write that function, uh, the function, and that function will contain the equation that you're trying to solve. Then you write a script that executes F0, which then will call on your function. So in your script, the call to execute F0 looks like the following. So the output of F0 is your root, which in this particular example I've called X root. So this would be your solution. to f of x equals 0 to your nonlinear uh, algebraic equation. Then your first input to f0 is a function handle. That points to your function that contains the equation that you're trying to solve. So your function handle has an at symbol at the beginning and the name of your function after it. And then the second input to F0 is your initial guess. As you can probably tell from the name of the variable that I've called it here. So your initial guess is your, um, whenever you solve a nonlinear equation, you have to do it iteratively, and F0 is no exception to that. And so you need to supply some initial guess, some initial point that the iteration is going to uh, start at. So that's how you call F0. You also need to know how to write the function that F0 is going to look into that you're pointing it to with the function handle. So to see an example of that, let's look at a very simple example of using F0. And in this example, we're going to use F0 to find a 0 of the equation y equals x squared minus 1. Now, of course, you can solve this by hand. And the solution to this that makes y equal to 0 is x equals either 1 or negative 1. So this is a good example to use because you can tell whether or not you're doing it right if f0 is giving you the right answer. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create an m file and we're going to call it, well we can call it whatever we want. Um, in this screencast we're calling it example 5 underscore 3 dot m. And we're going to put our equation that we're trying to solve into the m file. So when you make a function file, of course, in MATLAB, the first line has to start with the word function, and then a space, and then your output of the function equals to the name of your file. At least that's best practice is to put this here to be the name of your file as it's actually stored on your computer, and then your input uh, variables in parentheses after the name of your function. In this particular case, you have only one input, and that would be x, and you have one output that f0 is looking for, that would be y. And on, you can have whatever else you want in your function, but in this particular simple example, it's just one line where you're trying to solve for the um, value of x that makes y of x equal to 0. So this is our nonlinear algebraic equation. And so our output will be y, that's a thing that we're trying to make equal to 0, and our input is x, that's, a, that's, the, va that's the variable for which we're trying to find the value that makes y equal to 0. So once we make our function, we are next going to write a script that contains the following lines. So the first line in our script is we're going to define our, our initial guess. The second line is we are going to call on f0 using the function handle that corresponds to the name of the function as long as the name of the function corresponds to the name of the file name as it's stored on our computer without the dot m and then the second input to f0 would be our initial guess so this call to f0 will then solve for x the x that gives us y equal to 0 and then we're going to display that value of x now if we flip on over to MATLAB, um, what we're going to start with is we're going to start with this template that uh, you can have, which has as its function name, function f0 template, 
has as its input x and as its output f. And so the way this function, this template is written, is that the um, input is a variable named x. This is the variable that you're going to vary to try to find where f is equal to zero. So um, we can change the, the names of these variables to suit our particular problem. For example, I can change f to y. So we're finding where y of x equals zero. Um, but generally, you know, f is a typical name for a function. And so in this particular case, if we don't change the name of the variable f, it'll be finding the x such that f of x equals zero. So that's a typical way to formulate a nonlinear algebraic equation solving. At any rate, what we have here in this template, it's a little bit more, there's a little bit more to it than what I showed you in the lecture notes. So it's basically, it's a template for writing a function that's called by f0. Um, in the first little section, we can define our constants for the problem. Um, in this particular really simple example problem, there are no extra constants. Um, we can group the constants together for easier writing of equations. We don't need to do that either, but there might be some more complicated problems where you actually need to do that. And then finally, we define our function. Now, note I say scalar function here. That's because F0 only finds the zero of a single equation in one variable. So if we had, um, if we were solving for, uh, you know, a two by two system where you had two equations, two unknowns, you could not use F0. You would have to use um, a, a, a different function like F solve to do that, which we're not covering in this screencast. So at any rate, to go back to this particular example problem and how we would use that template what we would do is first of all we're going to rename our uh, our function file so function underscore ex underscore five underscore three and it says hey look matlab knows this file by its name function underscore f0 underscore template so that's the actual the actual name of the file the the m file that's stored on our computer so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to save this instead as, um, let me see if I can resize this little dialog window to get everything in there. So I'm gonna save it as uh, function underscore example underscore five underscore three dot m. So it's going to match what I called it here. And I'm gonna call it a function for example 5.3. Okay, so define our constants for a problem. There are no constants. Group the constants for easier writing of equations. There are no um, groupings that we need. And then the last line is what we really need in this problem, define our scalar function. And so in this particular case, that would be x squared minus one. Um, and I always, encourage you to put dots in front of exponentiations, um, multiplications, and divisions. So that is our function file. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use a script. So I'm going to pull up the script file. This is also a template. Um, and we can call this uh, script example 5.3. And instead of a template for calling F0, this would be script to solve example 5.3. So these are the type of things that you probably want to enter at the top of your um, scripts in comments so that you know what these things are. So script um, example 5.3. Okay. So define our constants for our problem. Again, there are no constants. Grouping the constants, we don't have those. Um, I'm going to go a little bit off of what I showed you in the lecture notes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna store in a variable called f handle, I'm gonna store my function handle, the value of my function handle. So that would be function underscore example five three. So that name matches the name of my function here. So I'm storing that function handle into this variable called f handle. In the next line, I'm going to define my initial guess. And in the line after that, I will call to f0, where f0 calls to my function that I've given it. If I scroll way down here, 
the last thing I want to do is display my output. Now in this template, it also allows for a section for any extra manipulation that you might have, um, but we're not going to do that in this particular example. Okay, so here we have our call to F0 in uh, the simplest possible form. Now, one other thing that I want to point out here is I know what the solution to this is, right? It's x equals 1 and negative 1. So our, our initial guess, let's go ahead and make it something slightly different from 1 so it can show that F0 is actually converging onto something. And I will go ahead and run this script by hitting on my computer F5. And if I pull up MATLAB, what happens is that it has displayed my value of x, which is equal to 1. So that's what I expected it to be. Um, if I'm going to do something a little bit more helpful, then I'll say x equals, so display that first, and then run that, and MATLAB says, well, x equals 1, and so that's my output. Um, just to make sure that it can converge onto the other solution to this, I'm going to put as my initial guess x equals negative 2, x0 equals negative 2, and run that, and show that MATLAB does have the ability to converge onto the other solution. So just to reiterate what I was saying before, if I erase those arrows, uh, F0 is expecting the output variable as the output, sorry, the output variable of, of the function that you write that F0 expects is the thing that you want to be 0. It could be y of x, it could be f of x, etc. And the input, the single input, is the independent variable, the thing you vary. So this is actually the, th the variable that will be the output of F0. So the function that F0 is looking into, the input is x and the output is y. The output of F0 itself is the value of x that makes y equal to 0. Uh, one last thing to point out here, I, in these notes here, I have the name of the file being example 5 underscore 3. Um, in my MATLAB file, I called it, not that it really matters, but I called it function underscore ex underscore 5 underscore 3. It doesn't matter. You can choose to name it whatever you want it to be. So I just apologize for the conflicting uh, values of the names in the, in the notes as well uh, versus the MATLAB file.